Well, man, man, if you can believe it, it's raining again. We finally pulled off an old coon. I set this, I had, I actually set two traps right here because I thought, you know, this is a fair sized river here. I said, man, there ain't very many places where there's a log across the river. But this, I mean, between these two trees here crossing, looked like a good crossing opportunity. So I set two DPs and he had a lick of activity. So I pulled one of them actually, uh, but uh, we finally pulled one old rascal. Glad to see it. It ain't rained too much yet, uh, but it's just supposed to be raining steady all day. The old silver sable here, this flat set, uh, blended in and I had a beaver tail staked here. Has it been death on these possums? He's pretty good size. I'm taking a look at the size of that head on it. Shoot. Well, lucky for us, we're back into possum business. You see both these today are caught on expander pans. <laughs> well, that's good or bad. I guess when you're in general predator trapping, then making a catch is good. I have put out some of these grub stakes here that I made up and it's just a, I found the wood stakes, um, you know, pre-cut. They were 12 inch stakes uh, at Lowe's. And uh, all I did was I had an old um, coyote hide and some chunks of beaver hide that I'd saved. And I wrapped some of the, some of them with coyote hide, stapled it on the back and I just hammered them in and then put um, some kind of lure or, or um, bait on it and then some of them I did in, in beaver hide. The ones that I did with coyote hide have not seemed to hit on anything. Um, some of the ones that I did with beaver hide, they've come out and stole my beaver hide off. Something has, so I've got to do a better job making sure that that gets secured on there. Um, but that's been something I've done a little bit different to give a, a kind of a flat set added attraction and uh, can't necessarily say that it's worked spectacular so far, but um, I have been getting a little bit of activity off of the beaver hides, not the cow hides. Good time to point out too, I switched, you know, I've been running off this four wheeler. So I had the trailer with, you know, most of my traps and trapping supplies and everything back there. Well, probably like most people I carry, I've always carried a tool bag with my baits and lures in it. Well, between the rain that has been constant and this thing bouncing all over the place my lure back has been a disaster um, half the labels come off um, and even I ta always tape the labels and then I'll write the name on the top of the lids half of all that stuff came off between the bouncing I probably had four or five jars break and so I said man something's got to give with this so one I think a big plus is just having the, the the toolbox up here where it's not getting as much bouncing but two got to have some way to keep this thing dry um, you can see I mean this is that's a the rewritten um, number on that um, but I took I, I broke down and bought a hard case um, and you can see I got some baits got my lure some lures there all four ounce jars I got some sheep wool urine uh, and some scat in that container there and then I've got another section of uh, lures up here I've got some nails for nailing down some of my beaver legs and whatnot I've got a uh, lure applicator and a bait applicator all the stuff I had in my other thing but just trying to get more consistent more you know one thing I've been wanting to use more bait so instead of grabbing a stick having something that I can get a good scoop out of um, and then having all this stuff that's always clean and dry or dry anyway and as I go forward hopefully it'll be cleaner that's been a big plus and then the other thing the reason I like this um, is because it's that one touch latch it locks good but you you know you don't have to like kind of like this when you got these latches you got to pop out and you got two of them that one touch latch I like that pretty good so anyway what do y'all use um, to keep your baits and lures dry use a heart I know some guys use a, uh, a cooler a small cooler and that's a good idea um, you know just one of the little carry carry handle coolers and uh, so I had to find something better than the tool bag for sure